this he's probably going to start a production company if he's already started it it's going to do better yeah it's going to do better so with the death card i see him um releasing a lot of situations but Welcome or welcome back to No Light Terror. My name is Hallie. So grateful to have you all. Let's get into this reading. I have a lot of updates about my life and so forth and so forth that I'll save for a video. If you want to see it, write a comment below. Uh, I've recently moved and that's why it took me so long to get the uh, videos back up and going because uh, the place I moved to is a bit bigger so I had more to unpack, um, which I'm very grateful for. But I won't bore you with that. <laughs> we'll get right into this reading. I'm continuing to do 2024 predictions, catching up from um, when I stopped, which was two weeks ago. All of you, thank you for patiently waiting. And yeah, let's get into it. So I'm doing Keanu Reeves 2024 prediction. Please comment below. I do still have the raffle coming, so stay tuned if you remember. Many benefits. The first benefit if you remember, if you are a member, excuse me, is that if you make a suggestion, I will make it unless it goes against my guidelines, okay? Second is that you get early access to videos and so forth and so forth. So check that out. Okie dokie, so let's get into this. I've pulled his general energy and I will do his career and I will do his love. I'm working on getting a studio set up. Next week everything's arriving, so I'll unpack. Sorry for the noise. I live right by... I don't want to say where I live because... Um, you never know with people. <laughs> I, love, I love most of you watching, but some people can be quite creepy. But right now, I'm going to... I don't have a buffer for the noise. I will have a buffer coming very soon for the noise. So if you hear my neighbours, I apologise. They are in the courtyard and having fun. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. So I pulled off general energy. And I get nine of swords, nine of wands, and queen of coins. You know... When I was shuffling the energy, I felt there's some distance in his love life. Um, I have said before, I really like his wife. I think she's his wife right now. Um, I said that I think that they're soulmates. They'll stay together for a while. Um, I do see some distance between them. He is the son of Virgo, I believe, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But there's something so I really admire people. And, you know, I don't know him personally, just the energy that I pick up on about Keanu Reeves is that he just has like a very calm energy, especially to be in Hollywood, you know, I think it's admirable when people are still humble, down to earth, they don't um, buy into the whole ego thing, I really, really like that about certain people. So, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands and Queen of Coins. So... I see very strongly here that she might be working a lot and he feels like distance. Uh, I think she's a designer. I see her being creative. Uh, like I always say, my jam is reality TV, so I don't really focus on celebrities like that. But, um, so if it's come out that she's a designer, I did not know that. I just pick up intuitively. So, the boss of the deck being the temperance. I did um, hurt my shoulder yesterday. I actually have to go back to the doctor. I've had quite a year, actually. <laughs> so I can't raise my arm that much. So that's why I'm letting you know that. Um, I've had quite a <laughs> year, yeah, like I've said, so already 2024 started with a bang. <laughs> Let's just say that. So the emperor, I see him kind of um, wanting to rekindle their romance, you know. And I think it's very sweet. I really think he's a sweetheart. And I think I see her also being, she might be Sun and Aries. She has strong Aries placements. I can see that very strongly. So let's get into career. I actually used to be friends with someone who worked, who did a movie with him a while ago. And she said he showed up on time and he was always very, um, very kind to the people that he kind courteous and a gentleman and it's really lovely to hear that you know because i met i met some horror <laughs> it's funny i talk about how when i met leonardo DiCaprio, he gave me creepy vibes i met him a few times and he gave me creepy vibes 
and it's just funny that he's come out now in the Epstein situation. I don't know his full involvement, but I'm not surprised that he would be mentioned. This was 10 years ago. I remember it. I'm, you know, because I've met a lot of celebrities, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I just remember he gave me a creepy, creepy vibe. So I always remember, like, some of them I don't really remember that I met them. Like, I forgot that I met Taraji P. Hansen. Hansen, excuse me. I forgot. Uh, some of them I forget that I met, you know, because my ex boyfriend used to be in the celebrity. I've had three ex boyfriends in the celebrity world. So I met a lot of them through that and so forth and so forth. But some you always remember and i always remember how it just the not capra's energy it was just it seemed very dark to me so okay so it's korea keanu reeves korea let's see okay so i get like another john wick like i said guys i don't watch uh anything else but housewives really so if it's already come out but it seems like there's another john wick i get that i also see like campaigns campaigns for different adverts eight of coins knight of wands and six of cups okay so i see here that He's going to be given an opportunity to produce something. And this, he's probably going to start a production company. If he's already started it, it's going to do better. Yeah, it's going to do better. So with the death card, I see him um, releasing a lot of situations particularly when it pertains to business i feel like people didn't really take him seriously because he is a good looking person and you know i think that happens a lot with people that are good looking people often think that they're not smart and so forth and i think that's what happened with him i think that um in fact he's partnering king queen of swords with a woman i don't see it being her alexandra i see it being another woman that's going to help him kind of manage his money manage the production help him propel forward in that aspect it's, got, it's really exciting excited for him so let's see yeah so he's letting go of partnerships people that didn't take him seriously um the sun eight of swords queen of coins again okay yeah so he is even though he's getting advice from this woman this other woman i see also him getting advice from his current girlfriend fiance wife i see them in a partnership they might have already gotten married um but i see them staying together for quite some time so the emperor and he really makes an effort in their relationship i will get more into love later but his stability i think in the past and now that i'm saying that i remember a clip talking about him uh, losing his fiance when he was very young, which is very sad. I think that he's had rocky situations in his relationships in the past that have kind of made him depressed, you know. And Virgos, I feel like Virgos can be prone to depression. In fact, Earth signs in general, Capricorn, Taurus, and uh, uh, Virgos, excuse me can be prone to depression and with that prone like that depressive nature um it's easy to slip back into not really focusing on his full capacity because he's not feeling up for it if you know what i'm saying depression is real you know it's very sad so the boss of being the tower a lot is going to come from this production company um, I think he might even call it after somebody. He's very sentimental, so he might name it after somebody that passed on. Um, one of his fiance, his child. Um, but it's going to mean a lot to him, and he's it's really going to do well. So let's talk um, love. And a lot of you have come up to me saying that she's a scam artist, but I don't 
judge people like that the energy i pick up on is that she's good for him and that's what i would love to focus on so let's see okay yeah so the reason i feel like they make a good match oh this is so sweet <laughs> is that virgos need somebody that they can devote their energy and time into they're very devotional people and they need to be in a relationship where the person is present you know um otherwise they can feel like they're left out and so forth so with the empress and that's why i think she's a good match for him because she's very present um she's also age i mean i don't ever mind i've dated older guys so it's not like a big deal um i would date an older guy again i always feel like i tried to date younger guys and it just doesn't work out i probably will marry somebody older but i say that to say that i feel like when i see a good looking older man with a woman that's mature hasn't done a lot of surgery is comfortable who she is is older too and they're both comfortable in their appearance and how they look and they don't do fillers and stuff like that it's very admirable and it, t it takes a, a level of self <sighs> i wouldn't say self-love but self acceptance to live in hollywood to be in hollywood around hollywood people and not succumb to botox this that what not you know i have people my age who are doing fillers and botox so i can only imagine double my age how much they must really resist the pressure that comes with that lifestyle so that i admire and i see there's a certain groundedness she has that differs from a lot of people in hollywood and i think he likes that virgos like grounded people because it allows them to be grounded to earth signs in general so with the empress eight of cups and the lovers i see very strongly that they they just bond you know he feels each other to one another they feel as though they've met each other you know like before in lifetimes before they travel together i see that a lot you get that image especially with the chariot i think she has cancer in her child her moon might be in cancer um but they feel like home you know and it's a wonderful 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 feeling that i get from them um i don't think i've ever felt like that about anybody in my life but they feel like when they're in each other's company like <sighs> you know i can breathe and which i think is rare for both of them that's why i'm rooting for them with the emperor um at the bottom of the deck he feels like okay now because his life his home life is okay now he can be somebody else now he can be fulfilled now he can do other things because he has the fuel from home that he needs to sustain and grow and build a strong um, relationship with. So I'm very happy for him and I'm rooting for him. 2024 looks like it's going to be a wonderful year for him. And yeah, um, just let me know what you think. Please be respectful. I love you all. Take care.